the Kid News Storm Team with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mark Murray, Austin's Weather Authority. Tonight we're going to take a look at the controversial question, is global warming contributing to all of the extreme weather we've seen lately here in Texas? It's been a year of devastating hurricanes along with extreme heat and drought conditions. Meteorologist Tom Harris explains why one environmental group says it may just be the beginning. Many scientists have warned of the dangers of global warming for years. Now the question is, are we already seeing the effects here in Texas? Hurricane Rita right on the heels of Katrina could be one example, according to scientists. The extreme drought and fires might be another. The odd weather all over the world is overwhelming everybody, and I think you don't have to be a PhD atmospheric chemist or scientist to understand something's happening to our climate. Global warming is caused primarily by the accumulation of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the dominant heat trapping gas and is the product of burning fossil fuels. Environmental Defense is leading the fight against global warming. It's a national nonprofit, nonpartisan advocacy group made up of scientists and economists. Their experts say if the Earth continues to heat up at the current rate, we're going to have big problems with the melting of the polar ice caps. It's estimated the Gulf of Mexico could rise one to three feet in the next 50 years. Most people underestimate just what a one to three foot rise in sea level would mean. It's not just that the water will come up three feet higher along the beach. In actuality, it'll come up about three feet higher this way. And that could be disastrous for low-lying homes on the barrier islands. Essentially, 80% of Galveston Island would be covered. This model from the Environmental Defense shows just how much of the Texas coastline would be underwater. The biggest losers would be Galveston and South Padre Island. Many of that, those buildings are built in places that the predictions show will be underwater or subject to very high surge in any serious storm and will not survive. Frank Lagroteria bought this land on Padre Island near Corpus Christi 20 years ago. His dream? To build a home and retire here. Three years ago, he did it. I think anybody who's ever studied history knows that uh, it's cyclical. You know, uh, I'm sure we contribute to it, but a lot of it is just part of nature. Even the violent hurricanes of last year are doing little to discourage building on the coast. No, it's not stopping the building. If anything, it looks like the building has really increased. Everywhere you look, there's something new coming up. A rise in sea level could also submerge much of our coastal wetlands. This could jeopardize our shrimping and fishing industries, both estimated at about $2 billion a year. So all these changes have an effect on the seasonality of shrimp, the abundance of shrimp, and therefore on the ability of shrimpers to catch it and provide it to consumers. Ecotourism is also another big player. Thousands of people every year come to the Lone Star State to bird watch. The Aransas National Wildlife Refuge is the last natural wintering ground for the whooping crane and if it was covered by water it's unknown whether the species would survive. If the right habitat, the right environmental conditions, the right water temperature, the right salinities no longer exist then those the birds may not be able to survive in these areas. Just as climate change can have synergistic effects on habitat for wildlife, it could also have synergistic effect on how it affects people and how they live. Jay Banner is a University of Texas geology professor. He says Texas has always been subject to extreme weather and global warming will only make it worse. That regions such as Texas, which are prone to drought and flood, these extremes of the hydrologic cycle, will experience more extreme Events. But not everyone believes global warming is caused by human activities. Two of the most outspoken opponents include Dr. Michael Crichton, the author, and Senator James Inhofe from Oklahoma. In his book, State of Fear, Crichton writes, nobody knows how much of the present warming trend might be a natural phenomenon, and nobody knows how much of the present trend might be man-made. Senator Inhofe's words were a little harsher. He stated on the Senate floor, global warming is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. That you feel that this is an important issue, you should vote. Right? You should vote for the person who also feels like this is an important issue. As for Texas's role in global warming, Environmental Defense reports we emit more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than any other state in the country. Tom Harris, KVU News.